friends welcome to oslo norway this is a totally unedited phaco surgery apply few drops of povidon iodine five percent and then thoroughly irrigate the ocular surface with ringa lactate or balanced salt solution and now make the main incision this is a 2.8 millimeter mid limbal incision this is a cataract with grade 4 nuclear sclerosis the main incision has been made in this case I am going to make only one side port on the left side of the main incision and now I want to stain the anterior capsule of the cataract because the contrast was not good and here goes the tripan blue dye if you stain the anterior capsule underneath an air bubble the staining is very nice and very quick and now wash the dye out with PSS and then inject viscoelastic substance in this case I had viscoat with me so I am doing what I call modified soft shell technique this is viscoat and just beneath this viscoat just touching the anterior capsule inject SPMC and the viscoat is pushed off and sticks to the corneal endothelium all of us know that chondroitin sulfate is the best viscoelastic substance to protect corneal endothelium and now do capsular axis then the capsule has been incised to the 26 case pain needle now I have taken a uterus of horseps going around and making this rexus in hard cataracts I aim for at least 5.5 millimeter rexus or 6 millimeter nucleus management will become very safe very predictable if you make a large rexus don't worry about overlapping the optic of the eye well optic of the eye well to be overlapped by the anterior capsular rim because the capsule will contract the rexus will contract to some extent and it will overlap the eye well in the coming few months hydrodissection is done and now the tip of the phaco handpiece is being introduced into the anterior chamber some superficial cortical matter is removed now the handpiece is turned, bevel is made off the nucleus is pushed little down and the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus travels through the substance of the nucleus like a submarine crosses the center goes towards the opposite equator the chopper supports the anterior surface of the cataract and it chops the nucleus like this rotate it 180 degree hold the piece which is inferiorly and separate the pieces completely and thus you have made two complete separated heminuclei now each heminucleus is emulsified into this heminucleus has been chopped into two parts and then each heminucleus is being subdivided and it is emulsified and taken out friends it is a joy to do safe phaco the entire chamber should be very stable there should not be any such you should know your machine very well this is the other heminucleus it is being chopped into three parts because I saw that it is quite big and the nucleus is quite hard and this is these three fragments is still attached at the apex at the inner edge so what I am trying here to do is I am trying to lift it up and what has happened is one fragment has popped out but don't chase this nucleus remain at the iris plane apply vacuum let the piece come down yes don't chase the fragment 
that has popped out. You remain at the iris plane or in the back. At my vacuum, let the piece come down and then emulsify. Emulsify the other pieces. This is the last nuclear portion. And remove the chopper at this time. Remain at the center. And the antechamber will be more stable because the leakage from the side port will stop. Now this is the last piece of cataract. It was an uh, epinuclear piece. And this is little bit of cortex remaining. I inject some viscoelastic substance because I use Simco through the main port. And if there is viscoelastic substance in the anterior chamber, the anterior chamber remains formed for some time because the viscoelastic substance comes out gradually and you get some time for cleaning the cortex and that time is enough. You now go through the side port and remove the cortex from 10 o'clock and 9 o'clock and cortical cleanup is done. In this case the posterior capsule is very clean and there are no cells on the posterior capsule. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens and what I am going to do is hydro implantation. It means the anterior chamber is being kept formed by hydro that is BSS and the IL is implanted in the capsular bag. The lens is tiled with the irrigating probe and now little bit of moxifloxacin is injected the single side port that has been made is hydrated to make it waterproof. Final lavage of the anterior chamber is done and anterior chamber is formed and con the case is concluded. Friends, I am at Norway now but I am making this video for you to inspire you to hammer on your head the steps of fecal emulsification. This is a beautiful surgery. If you can do it safely, it is much better than a manual small incision cataract surgery because you don't endure the conjunctiva, you don't burn the scleral vessels, you don't make a large incision, but you have to be more careful for protecting the corneal endothelium and the posterior capsule. Bring all the pieces at the center and remain in the capsular bag and emulsify. Do a safe echo, give very good vision to the mankind. Let us form a large team of competent surgeons throughout the world. My aim is to form a team of 1000 competent phagosurgeons to remove blindness from this world. Thank you very much.